Hello again with uh, yet another green drake fly. This time it is an emerging nymph. I get an idea of this nymph from Nova Gregor, a Slovenian uh, fly tire and fly fisher. And using the nymph skin body and uh, CDC loop. It's a subsurface fly and it is the imitation of ephemera danica but it can be as well ephemera gutulata the eastern green rake so the hook here is size 8 Jimco 2312 and it's a barbit hook so first I will the barbit Okay, and for thread, use some strong thread like Dynema, Nano Silk, or Vivas. <coughs> we, will, we will need a pretty strong thread for compress uh, the head. Some yellow color or white if you don't have yellow. And start, cover the hook shank. Go all the way back somewhere here, and for tails, we will tie in three tails, three fibers or pheasant tail feather, a brown one, and they should be about half of the length. Of uh, the abdomen, so something like this. Cover this. Going with my thread under to raise them. Cover and trim rest. Now for the body is a, as I said, the nymph skin from the virtual nymph. It's a three millimeter. Translucent. They come in uh, in different colors. You can use some this goldish. It is the natural size. Even the yellow, maybe white. Just match the hedge. I find the close, closer, uh, closest. I found this this translucent color. And first, cut the end some angle shape. So we will have. Nice uh, smooth start of the body here and tie this in. And we have to first build the volume of the body. And for this, uh, use some long fiber dabbing. I use in fly right the color, some light one. It's good because uh, it have these long fibers and it's more easy to make a smooth, smooth shape. So put it on thread. And make nice, slightly conic shape of the abdomen. And including the thorax. Okay, I will make a bit more here in front. Just cover the hook. And more. And 
that's fine. Now, maybe a, again a bit more here. I'll leave here some space. A few millimeters. And that's it. Now, four legs using pickaxe hello. This is butt section, the, the wide one. And we'll just trim this very end. Tie this in somewhere where we want the end of the thorax. So, somewhere here. And tie in. One side. Second, on the opposite, opposite side. Again, trim this end. Okay, and, uh, tie two more few millimeters in front of this. Say somewhere here. One and two. Cover this, and we will already tie in the CDC for the loop. I'm using five feathers for this size. Two natural, then put one green. If you don't have green, just use natural colors. And two more natural on top. Nicely, even these tips. We will tie this in in reverse position. Yeah. And strong thread wraps secure this well. We will tie in the last pair of pickup legs. For the side as well. Trim rest. Cover and Use straw now, a piece of straw, put it on the abdomen and bend all the stuff like this. We can start wrapping the new skin. Now the fir first three segments are longer, so we can make them longer. And then make like five more shorter. Once we reach these first legs, 
I will tie, I will take a needle. I will wring them out. There it is, and cover them. Is the new skin? Keep the new skin stretched, and now we can remove already the, the straw. and bend the second pair of legs as well as the CDC wing and cover all this with another wrap Just like this. And let's go and cover the last pair of legs. Now they will slightly shift probably, but you can correct this as the fly is finished. I'll stretch it even more and secure it here. Very, very strong tread wraps here. Trim. And we can go for the CDC loop. Take all these feathers at once. And shape the loop. Now, don't make it too tight, don't make it too loose just in the right shape something like this and secure this secure it really well with trim thread wraps uh, sorry firm uh, strong now cut this but but ends and cover this all in uh, some bigger head here. Be strong on thread here. And I will shape uh, the head here like, uh, like this. And that's it. Just we finish. A varnish Okay, trim thread. And now you can make some marking on back of the nymph by using this brick brown, use some brown, brownish, gray, match the edge and just few points here. And I will as well paint Normally Danica have the pretty pretty dark gears in the middle section, so I will just paint here a few few black dots for mimic them and we done just correct these legs. If they are shifted, they are.
Okay, flex back and the Danica emerger or Eastern Green Drake emerger. Can be any other bright color or in may fly name if correct in size. So that's uh, first of the emergers and thanks for watching. Next time, bye.